Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Coffee. Always on Sunday I post it, sometimes during the week. Quick thing, I need everybody to subscribe, please. And to check out my playlist and find out all the wonderful beverages, the liquors. Coffees, teas, beers and wines that I review. Today we're doing Tully's. Alright? Look at the magic. Tully's coffees in a cure cup. Italian roast. What the heck is Italian roast? Well, you've heard of French roast and then Italian roast, and it's the second darkest roast. The darkest roast is actually Spanish roast. Now, Tully's, well, talking to roasts, if, if you, and it's, it's a tricky proposition because if you over roast something, it gets very charcoal and ashy tasting, not good. But if you do it just right, right, it brings out a lot of that chocolate and uh, rich flavors. Tully's believes in slow, uh, what is it, slow and low. Kind of like uh, when you barbecue a brisket or something or smoke it all day and you put it on a low temperature for a long time. That's how they roast their beans. They say it brings out the flavor more. It was started by Tom Tully O'Keefe in 1992. But it kind of went out of business. It is now owned by Keurig Dr. Pepper and I believe they only make um, Keurig cups. They started in Seattle and uh, they would open up across the street from a Starbucks. They'd follow Starbucks around and open up their coffee right next to them was their, was their um, way they did it. But they've kind of went out of business. Uh, it is big in Japan. They have 600 um, coffee shops in Japan. Uh, Japan's about the size of California. So, uh, And like I say, it is now owned by Keurig Dr. Pepper. Let's see how Tully's, if you were to buy it, tastes. Let's see how it smells first. Nice, rich smell, a little bit, and I just mentioned it before, uh, of a smoked, almost a charcoal type uh, smell. Almost like a uh, charcoal grill coming up uh, with, with maybe some uh, wood chips that, add, uh, that adds a little uh, pleasant smoke to go with the charcoal. Let's give it a taste, please. different. Probably make a lot of brands too. I have the Italian roast they make. A bunch of brands when I was researching it. Mm. It's got a very a little bit of acidic bitter taste when you first sip it, then about mid-tongue it gets chocolatey and smoky, and then when you swallow it, it has kind of a uh, very burnt toast aftertaste, if that's your profile. Now, I know this cream's gonna make it better and it's gonna hold up because this is a strong coffee. Uh, so we're gonna put some cream in a strong coffee, and I bet it mellows it out just right. You get the cream flavor, and the coffee flavor is gonna be there. Let's see. Yes, it's mellowed down that strongest elements of the coffee and added that vanilla type taste of the cream or smell of the cream. See, this is the kind of coffee I like with cream because it's heavy. It's almost a little too strong in the beginning, tasting very bold, very strong. And when you put the uh, coffee, uh, the creamer in then it doesn't wash out the taste of the coffee. It mellows it down. So the coffee comes through the cream, but you still got that cream taste kind of balancing each other out. Now, because you don't want nothing, some, a weak coffee and then it just tastes like cream and you barely get the toffee, coffee taste, at least I don't. Now, if you were to add uh, uh, flavored creamers or any type of sweetener, you want a stronger coffee, in my opinion, to shine through those flavors so that the flavors so that they enhance each other and no one cancels the other out. Sometimes light roasts where you're getting that floral and fruity flavor, you don't want to put anything in it because you want to just sip that that the, the subtle uh, flavors. There. But when you get a big, strong, dark, bold coffee like this, uh, some people are just going to take it like it is, black, and um, enjoy it. Not and if I don't have heavy cream, that's why I drink it, and this included. 
but but if you do use any kind of uh, additive this might be a good coffee for you because it's going to balance it out it's going to shine through it's not going to be overpowered so uh, a little bit about today uh, it's it's a dreary day it's been warm and beautiful but today it's uh, dreary it's cool we have a little cool front it's raining uh, great coffee day um, traditional thinking coffee day to me every day is a great coffee day but <laughs> Today's what people think of when they when a coffee a little bit cool, rainy, right? You're stuck inside. Nice cup of coffee. All right, everybody. Tully's coffee, right? Italian roast, dark roast. The beans are probably black and shiny almost. And I will catch you on the next one. And don't forget, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.